Hi, my name is Miguel Valenzuela, and today my family and I are kickstarting breakfast with Pancake Bot. Yay! It's never been easier to draw your favorite shapes as a pancake than with Pancake Bot. First, you import the image into the software. Then you trace over the outline. After that, you go back and fill it in. Once you hit print, Pancake Bot draws your pancake onto the hot griddle. It draws the first lines you drew first, so those become darker. Then it comes back and does the fill. Pancake Bot uses a special vacuum and pressure system that we've developed in order to control the batter flow. Three, two, one, zero, lift off! The coolest thing about Pancake Bot is the fun of using technology to print your own food in the form of your favorite character or shape. PancakeBot is technology that inspires you to create, inspires you to make, and inspires you to play with your food. PancakeBot is also great for your brand. Whether you manage a hotel chain, an amusement park, or a small cafe, you can use PancakeBot to add a unique experience for your customers to remember you by. Thank you very much for watching the Pancake Bot in action. We're really excited to bring it to your kitchen table, and we really hope you can support this Kickstarter project. Well, nowadays people take thousands of pictures with their cell phones, but they never look at them. So we decided to create an object that will be that will make them able to share pictures with their their friend and family in a tangible way. Print is the first smartphone case that prints out pictures instantly. You just have to play your smartphone, snap a picture, and it will print instantly. We worked during a year on about 15 different prototypes to come up with one product that's really easy to use. For example, it doesn't use Bluetooth technology or Wi-Fi. You can take a picture, but you can also use pictures from Facebook, Instagram, any picture that is already on your smartphone. My biggest design challenge was to create an object that will work with different types of smartphones. We are compatible with the iPhone 5, the iPhone 6, and also the Galaxy S4 and Galaxy S5. And we are trying to bring it to more smartphones. So we don't need any ink cartridge. All the ink is already in the paper. You just have to hit it, and the picture will appear like, like magic. Like I said, what we really love about instant cameras is the whole experience. So we try to capture it, by recording a short videos of 5-6 seconds just before you take a picture. This video will play automatically on the paper through augmented reality when you scan it with our app. We wanted to go further than just printing pictures. We wanted to bring uh, memories that you could hold in your hands and that you could give away whenever you wanted. Print is for everybody, because everybody likes a printed picture that you can hold in your hand. You know, it's, it's like a memory that uh, you can give away. So we are on Kickstarter because we need your support to go to production, and also we need your feedback so that we can improve our product. Trees to stone might stop this shaking Distance gone is slowly Here we are. It's us. Meet this guy. And this guy. Him too. Now meet Robin. This is the other side. We made a smartphone. The only cloud first, design forward smartphone. We wanted something new, something different, a reboot. No one is making a smart smartphone. When you get so big, it's hard to see the forest through the trees, let alone the cloud from the forest. Their phones run out of space, 
They make you delete stuff you don't want to, drop your phone, and you have to start all over. It's not smart, it's shit. Since Robin can run up here, it always has enough storage. F this icon, this one's better. And since we actively manage the data, you can keep your photos, songs, videos, and apps. And it does it by being smart, by learning, by adapting. Don't use something for a while? We'll hold it up here. You need it back? We make it rain. They can chase gigs. We'll rock the cloud. Also, Robin looks badass. And kicks ass. It's a super phone. That's why we wrote it down. This is our crew. Badass. Fearless makers with fearless experience. Our dogs have tricks. Our interns have tricks. There's so much talent working to unlock the power of the cloud. Day and night. This stuff ain't easy. But nothing this special is easy. Instead of going to a carrier, we're bringing the special directly to you. We're bringing you a special, smarter, super smartphone that adapts to life as you live it. You have what you need, when you need it, wherever you are. So that's it. We think it's pretty great. If you do too, then join us on Kickstarter. Let's keep doing this our way. From us, straight to you, always. We're next bit. Get next now. Let's talk about something that every one of us does, but that most of us don't do as well as we should. Sleep. We spend a third of our lives doing it, each day is dependent on it, but we still neglect it. Knowing how you slept is good, but it's not enough. You need to begin to understand why you slept a certain way. While you sleep at night, you have no idea what is happening. Nobody's even thinking about the most important room of our lives and how it impacts us. The bedroom. At Hello, we want to change that. Sense is a simple system that tracks your sleep, monitors the environment of your bedroom, and reinvents the alarm. Sense watches for noise, light, temperature, particulates in the air, and more. With the sleep pill, your movements at night tells you how soundly you're sleeping. If you're disturbed at 3 a.m., you should be able to see if it was your partner snoring or a car alarm that went off. We all have a natural sleep cycle, but a normal alarm will wake you up regardless of when's best for you. With Sensor Smart Alarm, it knows how to wake you up at the right time, so you don't start the day feeling terrible. If you want to be up by 9.30, but you're already half awake at 9.15, then your alarm should know to go off then, not wait for you to fall deeper into sleep. Here at Hello, we've been heads down for quite a while now building. We're a team of designers, engineers, and operations experts who collectively have built products and services that millions of people around the world use and love. Making world-class hardware and software on their own is hard. Doing these things in concert together, obviously it becomes even more complex. That's why we've assembled a team of the best people to do just that. With the rise of wearables, we've seen that people clearly care about their sleep. But to us, it felt so unnatural to be worrying about putting something on, charging it, remembering to press buttons. We believe that technology needs to disappear. It didn't make sense to us that we have been told to put something on just as we get into bed. Everything with sense is designed to fade away. You should simply be able to just sleep. When designing sense, we didn't want to create something that looked like just another piece of technology. That's easy to do. It's much harder to design a device that feels at home sitting beside your bed every day. It should look like an object that you'd be happy to have there almost regardless of its purpose. For something so natural as sleep, we wanted to design something that felt organic. The spherical form and nest-like structure helped to keep things both simple and strong. To get to where we are today, we've iterated literally hundreds of times. By being able to 3D print and laser cut our way out of almost anything, we've settled on a design that's beautiful and one that also functions perfectly with all the sensors we have inside. Fitting so much inside such a small space is pretty hard. When you look at what goes inside Sense, engineering everything to fit is a challenge, but it's fun. It's like a beautiful puzzle fitting together perfectly to become strong, sturdy, and to protect everything inside. Objects shouldn't just be designed to look good. They should be designed to last. 
That's what building things for people is about. With Sense and the Sleep Pill, we wanted things to stand the test of real life, and we've made sure we did just that. Sleep is important to literally everyone, so we didn't want to make this product hidden in silence and without your help. We want the Kickstarter community to help us in shaping what we're building as we build it. With your support, we can together help people to better understand themselves and the world around them. We're so excited to build Sense and get it to you. Our journey started three years ago. Inspired by NASA, we set out to find a technology to grow plants without watering and fertilizing. After lots of research, we created our first smart garden. And the idea caught on quickly. Today, click and grow smart gardens can be found in more than 50,000 homes around the world. I got into high tech gardening after I read uh, that NASA can grow plants in space. And that while there is all this great technology, people throw away billions of dollars worth of houseplants every year. Our first product was successful, but we wanted to make it even better. So we went back to the drawing board. We designed a smart herb garden that has a built-in light and can grow three plants at a time. It is extremely easy to use, but the technology behind it is far from simple. The backbone of Click and Grow is what the plants grow in. This material here may look like normal soil, but this is nanomaterial. We've engineered it to provide the ideal amount of oxygen and nutrients for plant roots at all times. In a normal flower pot, soil gets compacted, which reduces the oxygen available for plant roots. Furthermore, when you water the plant, nutrients are flushed out and lost. In our growth medium, nutrients and oxygen are available in nanotechnological capsules throughout the soft bed. Water fills the material evenly and the plant always has access to the right amount of oxygen and nutrients. We also put a lot of effort into the lighting solution. We worked with the world's leading LED companies to invent a light that is perfect for plants and looks natural. With the new Click and Grow Smart Herb Garden, you can grow three herbs with the tiniest amount of effort. The starter kit comes with basil, thyme, and lemon balm to add flavor and variety to your cooking. Plant refills will also be available, so you can grow various other herbs, mini tomatoes, chili peppers, or even strawberries in your kitchen or living room. The good news is that we've got the technology and the prototype that works. The challenge is that this cost tens of thousands of dollars to get this technology production ready and to make these smart pots affordable. That's why we need the help of home gardeners, geeks and Kickstarter fans. Help us build this smart garden so you can enjoy fresh herbs at home all year round. Hi, I'm Alex, and I'm one of the founders of SmartThings. We're creating a platform that's going to make it possible for anyone in the world to connect everyday things to the internet for monitoring, control, automation, and fun. We think the everyday things in the world should be a lot smarter than they are today, and that's why we created SmartThings. Wouldn't it be smart if your bed knew when you got up so that it could turn on the lights, open the shades, and start the coffee pot? Wouldn't it be smart if your pet's collar could tell you when they left the backyard unattended? Wouldn't it be smart if your house knew when no one was home and could secure itself and tune itself to save energy? With your help, we're going to make the everyday things in our world a lot smarter. We're going to do this by launching the SmartThings platform. Our platform has three main parts. First. A system that makes it possible for everyday things to automatically connect to the internet. Second, an application platform that we call Smart Apps that's going to let you install applications into your everyday objects just like you can on your phone. 
And third, we're launching a kit for makers and for developers that's going to let them create their own smart things and share them with the rest of us. First, we had to make it simple to get everyday things like your front door, your desk, your lights, your pets, and more connected to the internet and to each other. We've solved this problem. Here's how. We built an easy-to-use hub that acts like a magic bridge between the everyday things in your life and our secure platform in the cloud. We created a range of simple, wireless devices that connect automatically to your hub and let you both sense and control stuff. These things include smart outlets, motion detectors, open-closed detectors, moisture sensors, and plenty more. We developed a platform on the internet that acts as the brains of all the things that are connected to it. Finally, to make it super simple for users, we created the SmartThings mobile app, which gives you one place to see and control the physical graph of all the things that you've connected. This entire system works seamlessly. City or country, US or abroad, you just plug in your hub, open up the mobile app, and you can immediately see and start interacting with your real world things from anywhere. Now that your things can connect to the internet, it's time to make them smart. We built an application platform for both end users and for developers that we call Smart Apps. Smart Apps make it simple to monitor, control, automate, and have fun with the everyday things in your life. As just a few examples, with out of the box Smart Apps, you could do things like lock and unlock your door, turn your lights on and off, or control appliances from anywhere, either manually or based on rules and schedules. You can get notifications when important events happen, such as your child getting home from school, a leak in a pipe, or when someone new is at your door. We've got lots of existing apps so you can get started right away, but we're also making the Smart Apps platform completely open so that anyone can create their own apps. Our platform gives the everyday things in your life a full API, which will help developers unleash their creativity in the real world just like they've been able to do on smartphones. We're super excited to see what the community creates. Finally, we're going to enable makers and inventors to create a whole new world of connected things that are beyond any of our imaginations. Our toolkit for makers includes a SmartThings chip that can be used to inexpensively make any device into a SmartThing. When the chip is installed, it enables the device to instantly talk with the hub and the cloud and become a SmartThing. We're also providing an open software development kit and online tools that enable makers to interact with and build smart apps that work directly with their things. So what can makers make? The sky's the limit. We've already heard a ton of great ideas from the community and we're excited to support them. Bringing this all together, the SmartThings platform makes it possible for anyone to start making the everyday things in their world a lot smarter within minutes. We know this is a big plan. We've come a super long ways, and we're ready to go into production, but we need your help. With your support, we're going to ramp up production manufacturing so that we can put SmartThings kits, including hubs, and connected things into your hands. We're also going to launch the Smart Apps platform with a range of ready-to-go apps right out of the box. Finally, if you're a maker or a developer, we're going to launch our toolkit and we're going to be there to support you as you build your own types of new things and your own types of new apps. We hope you'll join us and we really appreciate your support. When you listen to headphones, you're in your own little world. You can miss out on hearing something important or just something out of the ordinary. And that's why I invented Soundbreak. This gadget allows you to be aware of your surroundings while you listen to headphones on any audio player. Here's how it works. It's very simple. You plug Soundbreak into your audio player and you plug your headphones into it. Soundbreak listens to your surroundings and when outside sound is louder than your normal background noise, it temporarily silences your audio so you'll know that something is going on. You can adjust the audio silencing level manually or by pressing these preset buttons. By pressing this button, the audio silencing level is automatically set to be higher than your background noise. After college I had so many ideas I didn't even know where to start. I thought, okay, this sound break idea is what I should be focusing on because I'm looking around and people are just more oblivious to their environment than ever. I wanted to create a better solution than other options that don't allow you to be fully immersed in your audio, like using open-air headphones that always allow all sound to pass through, or using single-ear headphones. There's so many things that could be trying to get your attention, everyday things. You can miss someone trying to call out to you, or just a general announcement. Pizza's here. Get it before it's gone. Whether you're listening to music jogging or exercising, playing video games, lounging, watching a video or movie, or waiting. 
you can be isolated all the time. I was working full time as an electrical engineer and I designed Soundbreak in my spare time. I made my first prototype and people complained that it was too bulky, wasn't rechargeable, and didn't look like a finished product. I was up all night thinking about how I could redesign Soundbreak. The room was all dark and before I knew it, the room was turning into a light blue. I had this vision. Sleeker. Rechargeable. I thought, okay, this new design is going to be great, and I need to get some sleep now. I spent the next few months madly redesigning Soundbreak. I redesigned the hardware to allow it to be laid out into a square shape. The redesign also allowed me to use a rechargeable coin cell battery instead of the AAA battery I had used before, with an estimated 100 hours of battery life. It includes a micro USB charger. I had a custom enclosure designed for the board and made the vision a reality. It took a lot of work to get this prototype made, and now I need your backing to bring this into production and give you the freedom to be able to fully enjoy your audio without missing out on your world. I decided to name the company Sunday Electronics because a Sunday is so much better than a single scoop. Thank you so much for your support.